We're back in the first division for Southampton against Spurs, the match chosen by Southern Television this week. Now, Southampton with something to prove after their League Cup defeat at Chelsea in midweek. Uh, Spurs with something to build on after their fine victory at Manchester United in the same competition. Now, commentator David Bobin, Spurs are in the all-light strip. Getting a bit tight on that touchline, but finally Holmes brings it away. And the ball couldn't control it. And Ardiles is in there first. Good run this from Ardiles. What a good shot from Ardiles, the Argentinian international, and bringing an equally fine save from Ivan Kanalinic. Keegan shaking off the challenge from Ardiles. And a bit lucky there, Tottenham, to get that rebound. Shannon showing real commitment. What a good save from Clements. And Mickey Shannon, full of determination, bringing an excellent save from Ray Clements, and Tottenham are looking just a little bit rocky. It's going to be a corner, and Southampton are really pushing forward now and asking a few questions of this Tottenham defence. Certainly Paul Miller was grateful enough to hook it away for a corner. And Southampton pushing everyone forward now. Shannon's corner. Header from Nickel. Chris Nickel there. Good header from him. It was on its way to the net, but a fine save from Clements. Ardiel is taking that to free kick to Crooks. Crooks trying to find his way past Nickel and Baker. The ball taking a deflection, so that's going to be a Tottenham corner. Now, Miller has come up to join his attack, as has Graham Roberts. And Archibald and Crooks are already there. Roberts has scored! Graham Roberts with a beautifully timed header. Crisp as you like into the back of the net. And that's from a boy who was born here in Southampton. Corner swung over from Tony Galvin. Roberts almost unmarked, plenty of time, and that's 1-0. Oh, so Graham Roberts, the local boy who actually hasn't played here at the Dell since he played for Southampton Schoolboys some years ago. What a homecoming for him. 24 minutes of the match gone. Graham Roberts putting Tottenham Hotspur in front. Southampton really got to have a go now to pull one back. Keegan to Moran. And Moran has done it! Well, you can't ask for anything better than that. Kevin Keegan finding Steve Moran, and Moran levels it. Steve Moran's eighth goal of the season. The youngster didn't play the whole game at Chelsea midweek. They brought him back and he scored. And he scored again today. Look at this beautiful shot. Straight past Clements. One each. Archibald not hitting that ball well. And Holmes in very quickly to pick up on the error by the Scott. If he gets somebody in support. Here's Shannon. Oh, what a save from Clements. Shannon, I don't think, hit it really cleanly. But nevertheless, it was on its way. And Clements did really well to push that one away. Nice control from the left back. Really nice play from Nicky Holmes. Ball. Keegan. Williams. Steve Williams turns away in disgust. That could so easily have got in. Shouts for handball against Crooks, but it's to Hoddle. Archibald. Hazard's unmarked. Hoddle completely missing his kick. They're queuing up for it. Hazard against the bar and Crooks misses it well a let off for Southampton there they were all standing ball watching the shot came in and when it came back off the bar they were lucky to get away with it there it is a terrible mix up standing looking Hazard it is who gets round the man hits the shot in back off the crossbar with Catalina it's beaten and Crooks misses it Adelia's leaving that a bit short Lawrence is away Keegan's in the middle a bit overstruck by the youngster that's a shame Again, just a little bit over enthusiastic, George Lawrence. The referee has given the penalty. Keegan was going in on that missed time back pass, and he was brought down by Roberts. Chance to see this one again. This is important because that rebound, Keegan was going for it, and Roberts brought him down. The referee took a good look and gave the penalty.
While all this goes on, the substitution is made. Young Patrick Corbett comes on for Tottenham. Garth Crooks is going off. Patrick Corbett is coming on. There he is, Patrick Corbett, replacing Garth Crooks. But we mustn't let that get away from the fact that we've got two England men against each other here. Kevin Keegan against Ray Clements. Great start from Clements. Brilliant save from Ray Clements. Going absolutely frantic with his defenders, saying, don't lose concentration. I've saved you, but we're not out of trouble yet. Corner floats over. Nickel. Nickel's header it was just over the top. But there's no doubt that the hero for Tottenham right now is Ray Clements with that brilliant save from Keegan. Keegan hit the penalty hard and low, and there's no doubt that Clements really was very quick to get down to it and push it away. And in the resulting scramble, well, Southampton couldn't make it pay. Into injury time in this match. And really, what a splendid exhibition of attacking football it's been. Only one goal apiece so far, but it really has been intriguing. And here's Archibald with a chance. Great stop! Corbett's got a chance! And the young substitute comes on and scores a dramatic goal. Well, disaster at the death for Southampton. Patrick Corbett, the young man who came on when the penalty was taken. Here's Archibald with the shot. It comes back. Great stop for Catalina. She couldn't hold it, and Corbett couldn't believe his luck. And it goes into the back of the net, and Tottenham are in front. So Spurs move up to third behind the joint leaders Manchester United and Ipswich, who both won yesterday. 2-1 for Spurs then, and what a marvellous first appearance for young Pat Corbett, an 18-year-old boy from Hackney, and normally he's a defender. And further proof, indeed if anyone needed, that goalkeeper Ray Clements is truly back to his best form.